Good morning, Dave here. Well, I got a, another little idea that bubbled up to the top of my brain and seen the light of day. I have a, a dozen or so of these old uh, uh, Harbor Freight anvils. And I've been, uh, you know, I, now I bought these things so long ago got them stashed here everywhere. <laughs> what I wound up using them is up there. I'm using them uh, to hold stuff down. I mean, they make good hold downs. They're 55 pounds each. And uh, I got so many of them. You know, back in back in the heydays, my heydays, I uh, uh, was collecting old antique tools and and I. Uh, guess I would hit a dry time and I had to buy something and uh, I don't know what was wrong with me but I I kept buying these things when I first started buying them I believe they were about 29 bucks each and uh, you know I mean now, now this was back in the shoot I'm gonna say 80s late 80s I guess and and uh, an anvil, a real anvil, a good anvil, was going for about a dollar a pound back in those days. So you get a 55 pound for, for 30 bucks, and you're paying, you know, a little over 50 cents a pound. I, I know it. Anyway, my idea was I put a. a this is a forklift tine. Came into possession of a forklift tine. And as you can see, this forklift tine, or forklift fork, is five inches wide. And the reason I went ahead and used it is the little, uh, these little Harbor Freight handles. Let's see how wide this one is. This one is, what, three and, three and five eighths? Something like that. That's pretty standard. This one is is uh, this one's close to yeah, it's about the same, about the same. But I have this uh, back in the day. I looked at this anvil was in a an antique shop up in Plymouth, California. And uh, to tell you the truth, I, th I think this had to be back in the 70s. That's when I started looking at this beauty right here. This is a 400 pound. Now, as you can see, this one is about five and a quarter. That's pretty long. Well, 400 pounds. I think it comes out here 37 inches from the heel out to the end of the horn close so I figured if this one is five and a quarter and I, I got this uh, forklift time and uh, everybody's saying how what poor quality that uh, Harbor Freight anvils are well I, I think well you know what they are I'll tell you what there's the good news and the bad news Good news, this is not a cast iron anvil. Harbor Freight doesn't sell cast iron anvils. They sell cast steel. Now, mild steel isn't known for being that hard. So, I figured uh, in order to uh, help this little baby out, I got these. I wound up giving a couple away here and there. And I still got a, a, a over a dozen of them. And uh, from way back in the day, you know, got them. They make good uh, uh, fabrication tools to hold stuff down. <laughs> Got like uh, building this deck on here. I I would put a dozen of them up there to hold the deck down, and if you could uh, crawl underneath it and tack it down, and everything. Anyway, what I decided was I'd take this forklift fork, cut it down to the length, which is I don't know 11 and a 
11 and a half, 11 and three quarters, something like that. And just leave the same running wide. But uh, you know, they, they got those uh, church window anvils and I thought they looked so cool, an old armorer's handle. So I had some 5 8 plate, I uh, hole sawed it out. Had a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of work hole sawing 5 8 plate. But um, I got them out. And so this is gonna be a, a fake church window anvil. Anyway, what do you think, man? I think it looks better than uh, uh, just being a poor old Harbor Freight anvil. And, and with that forklift fork on top, I actually do some work, which, you know, apparently I got more time than sense out here. Put all this welding and grinding on this, this crazy little piece of steel. But like I said, it's the, the good news is these are cast steel. Uh, I see a lot of these people reworking their anvils and everything. A cast steel anvil does not have to be preheated. Just so that you know, you don't have to get it up to 200 or 400 or 500. You just uh, clamp stuff, fit it, tack it good, and start welding. Now, the forklift time, you know, I don't know what kind of uh, steel they make, but they're made for uh, well, tensile strength. They're, you know, they probably don't have manganese in it, which is impact resistant, but uh, it is a better steel than just mild steel. So, we got a forklift fork welded on top of this with uh, make it look a little bit like a church window anvil. You tell me what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.